Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I was doing this, connecting to the astrological things that we were speaking about today. Aquarius. <laughs> this is what we do in Aquarius time. Detachment. <laughs> so I will explain something that is related to uh, to the constellation of Cygnus, which is the topic for today. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about this. These dates, nothing happens. Really, there is nothing really happening. <clears throat> These days are just codes, numer numeral codes. So um, they are read that you can read them from one side to another. It doesn't matter. So the the reason why they are codes is because people can see it and recognize that something special is happening, and the. Um, um, the the reason why this is um so important is because all the people can see and is connected to this same code okay so it's not about uh what is happening in the stars it's about what is happening in our consciousness that is why um so this number is a sum of eight two 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 it's eight so eight is the number of the Taurus, which represents the time, the network of time. So that's why the portal of time is this day, was this day, exactly one year ago. And then this day will repeat again. And that day will repeat um, the, um, the will repeat again in uh, February 2022. In February 2022, we will have again all these numbers. And why this date and not in 2020? Because this makes 12. All these numbers make 12, which is the space, the dodecahedron. Mm -hmm. So it's the structure of the space. Mm -hmm. So here the 12th is important because it closes the cycle of time and space. So in between the portal of time 2020, in between with this other portal in 2022, is the frame of the door where you go from one spot to another. So that's why in between February 2020 till February 2022, we will be living this kind of weird time of coming from one spot to another. So this is why one month after 2020, the COVID and the quarantine started and all those chaotic things. And don't expect it to end until at least the beginning of 2022. So, yeah. So anyway, um, uh, these years for those who are working with the consciousness of the planet, um, these years will be mm, very, uh, will be the key for this transition. Um, so Cygnus, Cygnus is one of the northern constellations and its bigger star is the Neb, that in Arab means tail, tail, and is the tail of this, I don't know the word in English for Cygnus, como se dice cisne? In English, 
how do you say cisne in English? Swan? Swan? Oh, swan, swan. Okay, thank you. Swan. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, Deneb, the tail, is one of the northern stars uh, of the, of the um, like Polaris that uh, was the northern star approximately around 15 to 16,000 years ago. And it's also known as the cross of the north. So, um, so in the south, we have the southern cross that we, we call it the southern cross, but actually its name is just crux, that means cross in Latin. Um, so crux is only seen in the southern hemisphere and Cygnus, the northern cross, is seen only in the northern hemisphere. So even if you look for it, if you are in the southern hemisphere, you will never see this one. If you are in the northern hemisphere, you will never see this one. I have the Earth here, and Cygnus, the Swan, and the Crux in the south. They represent really um, an important thing here for Earth. So Deneb, Deneb in the Cygnus constellation was the northern star 16,000 years ago approximately and it was the moment when the um, when the Atlantean civilization started to rise and understand its purpose in life, in, in the reality. So basically the purpose of this civilization was to, um, to reconnect the network of the planet through consciousness so we could open the portals in between time and space. Remember that we spoke yesterday that in order to go through space, we need to activate the machines of time, which is through the vibration of the atoms. Mm -hmm. So this is why the Atlantean civilization on Earth had to open the doors from north to south between time and space. And it's something that we used to call the Atlantean cross. And the Atlantean cross um, was the key of the of this civilization. So the cross of the north is the one that represented the four times to be born, to grow, reproduce, and die, express, experiment, integrate, and transcend. Hmm? And the Southern Cross would represent the four spaces in front, behind, right, left, north, south, east, and west. So in order to connect the north and the south, the time and the space, they had to work with the connection of this, uh, of this structure, which was um, the four, um, times manifested in space that we call solstice and equinoxes. So spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So kind of like this in a very horrible way. Hmm? 
Hmm? So now we can see that we have the Northern Cross and the Southern Cross. And in the center, we find the Earth. And this Earth will be connected and hold by spring, autumn, summer, and winter. Hmm? So what we today call the Atlantic Cross is really a cube. So the cube, the cube can also be connected with an inner cube connected to every one of the dots, a structure that we call tesseract. So I can also expand this cube in different dimensions, hmm? going up, going down, coming out from this from this side, from below, from anywhere. So another way to connect and manifest this structure of the protecta is by taking this cube to each one of the sides, expressing different dimensions, up and down, yeah, on the back, below. Conocen. So it was so difficult to graphic to make a graphic of this in the past in three dimensions that it was easier for the people to make this drawing. We call this Chacana in South America, but this is not only from South America. This is from everywhere in in north america in africa in middle east in europe asia is a pattern known by many it's just that sometimes we just take this hmm? <clears throat> um do you remember that we spoke so many times how to activate the cube the 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 question would be, how do we activate a cube? So to activate a cube, it's very easy. We just have to sit there and meditate. So the reason why we sit like this as humans to meditate is because this person is inside the structure of the tetrahedron. So, um, so the um, the first one will be the north in positive, and we have the base of Trinity: vibration, energy, and matter. Vibration, energy, and matter. This is the physical, the, the, the physical dense aspect. And then we have the aspect of the subtle. So we will have the southern negative and above the trinity that we will call love, wisdom, and will. Love, wisdom, and will. This is the structure that then we will know as the Star of David. Uh, so remember that 
in between these two, if we accomplish to get this structure, we will recognize that this two, uh, th this structure of the Merkaba is the key to the expansion to everything, to all the things uh, that are created in the universe. Mm -hmm. So in the perfect vibration and harmony, you can connect with the basis of the atoms of the creation. So you go beyond the structures of this reality and you, by this, can travel through time and space. Time and space. Hmm? Okay. And here's where we find the cube again. To find the cube. Well, here we have otra vez nuestro famoso cubo. And here we have again our famous cube. So what the Atlanteans were trying to do by connecting all this northern cross and the southern cross in the center activating this Merkaba was trying to make the whole planet Earth into a spaceship that travels not through places but through dimensions. So what the Atlantans did was something that usually people does for themselves, like aligning, meditating, creating this pattern of light, maybe enlighten themselves as masters, highest masters. But what the Atlantans tried to do is to do exactly the same with the whole planet. It's really big. How can you do that? So in order to accomplish that, you need to go and to look for the specific spots to build the machines to activate the entire spaceship. And they did it following the lines of this structure. So easy how they did it. They start to build the structure of the whole Earth. So how they did it? They open the structure. How do you open the structure? In the same way as for sure you have heard the sentence, think out of the box, think out of the box. So they expanded the box. Can you see the expansion of the box? Is what you call dodecahedron. So these are each one of the of the doors of the box opening, breathing. Think out of the box. And this is how they started to find the matrix of the flower of life, the structure of the main creation of all the things. This is what makes the Earth a spaceship. The reason why the Atlantans tried to do this to make the planet a spaceship is because all the 
other planets that were aware of this, they made their own worlds into spaceships. And through the network, they found how to travel through all the planets that are aware of themselves. If one planet becomes aware of each one of the nodes, it opens the doors through all the worlds in different dimensions. And they just tried to do this guided by Cygnus and the ones in the south guided by Crooks. Because through Cygnus, they found where was the axis at that time. So, what is So the core of all this structure is what we call an octahedron. Is this, it is an octahedron. That's the center of all the creation, is the core, the heart of, a, of, a, of the Merkaba. And what is this? It's basically a pyramid. So each pyramid is a key for the machine. Each pyramid is the heart that must beat in order to activate all this. So the pyramids are like the for the entire machine. Basically because it's the heart of the Merkaba. So Remember that in the core of all this, there was a human meditating inside a Merkaba. So the way you activate the whole Merkaba is with your inner seed, the inner octahedron. And that octahedron is in between the, the heart and the plexus. So in order to activate the potential of this machine that we have inside the seed of our creation, we have to be who we are to find the I am in my plexus and to share what I am with the others, with the we are. So the way we activate all this machine is by tum, 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 the heartbeat of the heart, the heartbeat. So the, if the heartbeat is out of the harmony, so you get lost and this is not activated. But if you find the balance and coherence, this is activated. And what is what I am activating here? is the inner potential of my multidimensional aspects. My divine in the sky activated here in the earth. So what is this seed? This seed is the one that we so, long time ago, from another dimensions, and how, why? Because all these doors are open to any dimension, and as in anybody, in every reality, we have viruses, and some of these viruses are in different dimensions distortions of the self. 
So this virus can go in between these doors. And the only way in which you can really heal a disease in between different dimensions is if the white cells and the proteins of those dimensions are born as a part of the immunological system. The only way in which you can heal a disease, a virus in the body, is if the cells leave the experience of the virus, leave the experience of what is the problem, so you can handle it from within. And from there, you can heal it. So, to understand this, it's easier to compare with our body when you, we have a disease, a virus, for example, or, or um, a virus or uh, a cancer, for example. So, one cell of the body. Um, one cell of the body starts to distort it itself. And when it distorted itself, it starts to use the energy of the body to survive. So it starts to kill other cells. And imagine that these cells of the cancer is in the lungs. Suddenly, the lungs starts to, it, it, it makes metastasis and it goes to everywhere. So it changes the organs, it goes to the stomach, it goes to the heart. That's changing from one dimension to another. Change from one di dimension to another, from one organ to another. It's exactly the same. So when this cell starts to make metastasis, the immunological system starts to act, which is to try to find balance. And balance is what the confederation is doing. It's exactly the same as the immunological system, what it's trying to do to find the homeostasis. Homeostasis is the factor that helps the body to be aligned in balance. So the confederation is basically like that system, but how can you heal a problem that is from within, from the same body? You have to become those cells to understand to understand where is the mistake so they seed themselves in these worlds where there is the disease so they could heal it from within and it takes a lot of time to understand it from within so that's why we seed ourselves from the alien worlds to live a human experience So there are aliens that are the disease and are humans that are the disease. But that makes them bad people or good people? No. They are just distorted or balanced. So um, then um, look into the, um, in, into the blog because I wrote today about these aliens, about the white brotherhood, about all of it. So um, I'm sorry that is too much information, but it, it is needed to, to be spoken. Thank you everybody for being there as always. And see you tomorrow at the same time.